Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Okay, so since you guys, the heroes are first day, I'm going to get this big, long, red hair. Good thing it's my wife's color. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Do, do you guys happen to know each other? As this beautiful, elegant so. fantasy music strolls in. I don't. As it's played by a roguish bar. No, no, or a music. Rogue. I know. I live by myself. It's do any of you know each other? You're a bit of a... Yes. Who? You two would know each other because I you guess. live in the same town. They ain't that big. Well, okay. yeah. yeah. Well, small, I've been here place. for at least about a year. Yeah, you'd know That's each other. about how long it takes before people start getting suspicious. <laughs> 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 and since, after all, you are like the entertainer at the local mm-hmm. tavern, I mean... You're going to be known. This obviously, be the, yeah. the daughter you, of the court... You would wizard. probably know her because when you come into town... I go, I, brought, I go straight to, like, the pawn shop. Though, yeah, but that place everyone goes to a tavern. And it's, if the pawn shop's closed, that means it's probably over at the tavern. Exactly. True. So you've so probably you met, met, well, not, not, at least like, like, you've seen, seen me. me. But you know who she is. Okay. Me? I don't know I, I don't know any of you. I didn't know any of you. And I'm the princess, so I'm hoping everybody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, everyone loves you. The common folk love me for my kindness and generosity. She's like total sweetheart princess, all four of them. <laughs> my duty is to protect and care for the people who need me. <laughs> That's awesome. You made me throw this at you. <laughs> <laughs> so you silently turned the ball into something. <laughs> <laughs> A boulder. <laughs> I've worn this in my pocket. So that kind of works at gloves. I want to see glow. You know, elvish, magical. I'll for all of you. Right to the night point. Yes, and then we can turn the lights off real quick and see what they look like. Oh, <laughs> hold on a second. I was going to say, you should be giving yours. <laughs> your flashlight on your phone would probably do oh, that yeah. too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> your phone's right there. So, Beam you? it with your flashlight for like five seconds, and then I'll slap off the lights. I got a hint of light going on. That's lapper. Okay, so uh, pretty much all except for the rock gnome druid might know each other, huh? Oh, her. She says she don't know nobody. That's true. Well, she knows the Baron. I'm a traveler. I know the I know the Baron. Yeah. Her old army buddy. And then we really spooked when we put the lights on. I don't know. She hasn't lit hers up. No, nope, because to do that, I have to say words. You have to say words? Yeah, there you go. Okay, hold on. We're working on it. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, now. <gasps> Look, it glows. Glowing <laughs> D20s. That's awesome. Even mine on the corners over there glowing, too. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> you see the part that was, like, covered? <laughs> it's got the orange glow. Okay. You All confirm right. the glowing D20s are indeed magical. <laughs> we used the tech magic and turned off the lights. Okay, so. First, let's go ahead and everybody introduce yourselves around the table. We'll start to my left. I'm, I'm Bronwyn Anvil Spark. 
I'm a mountain dwarf. I'm a cleric of uh, the god Kord. So I don't know if my accent's very good, but I'll practice. So what is your alignment, by the way? Chaotic good? Has everyone picked alignments, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> So are we, She's gotta be some type sharing of her? Where do you look for that? Are we sharing uh, information that like, if it's out of character, you can if you want. You don't have. To. Okay. Like my other cleric, uh, oh, Sister of Solus, she has a backstory that none of the other character, other players know. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to keep it secret, you can keep it secret. Story. You can also tell everybody and then say it's out of character knowledge. Okay. So that way everyone knows. At least beginning, to I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll tell people it's out of character knowledge, yeah. and I have a story. I was gonna write her background story I, as that was. So there's the, lawful good, neutral good, chaotic yeah. good, lawful neutral, neutral. What's it? And then chaotic That's neutral. Then what evil page ones. is that on? Too? Oh, okay. It's on page one two two. So pretty much it breaks it down to are you a good or bad person, or are you lawful, neutral, or chaotic? Gotcha. So you can be chaotic, like, you know, Han Solo at the end of the three movies, okay. chaotic good. Gotcha. Lawful good means you follow the law and you're good. Now granted, that's your law from your point of view, so that can always be subjective too. So like say the Sheriff of Nottingham is the law, but he's evil, you uh, can kind of he's say... lawful gotcha. evil. Yeah, he's lawful evil because he wants lawfulness. Because the law, he is the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Judge yeah. Dredd would be a very extreme lawful good. And yeah. I own the law. And depending on how you behave, we may force your character. If you're doing what we yes. call character alignment slip, okay? It's like, say you're a good character, but you keep doing really bad things. We're going to like. Ah, uh, you're not that good. You're not We need good. to have an intervention. <laughs> yeah, we need to have... You either need to drop your alignment at your next level up, or uh, start playing your alignment. Yeah. Like, a lawful good person does not start killing people. Willy-nilly. Willy-nilly. Some people no, just... No, a chaotic good character... Maybe. Yeah. It depends on the situation. Chaotic neutral is like the ultimate middle ground. You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not I do quite that loosey yeah. goosey. Oh, but. it's really loosey goosey. It also means you have zero. Commitment. Let's put it this way: my rogue is chaotic neutral. She can be good. She can be bad. Just from the things you pick, there's definitely a good I've said somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you could go like neutral good, chaotic good. A lot of elves, by the way, are chaotic good. Because um, sometimes the fave part of you just wants to do crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. I might go for neutral. We do what we want. Neutral good has no. Well, well being as, a as nature a... person, nature's people tend to go with neutrality because nature is both good and bad. It's not. Can we write it? Balance is good. Can we write it? It'd be right there. But nature is chaotic, chaotic as well. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah. Maybe chaotic. Is there a chaotic yeah, just chaotic, chaotic neutral. neutral. That's my my yeah. uh, halfling. Yeah, my my rogue yeah, plays chaotic okay. neutral. <laughs> okay, so just make sure you write it at the top of your character sheet. It would be C N is the abbreviation. Yes. Yep. You know you have a typed one. This one. Yeah. I know. That's, that's where you get to put it. Put it. <laughs> <laughs> but no one said I should put it. Yes, 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 it is. Yes. It's yours, right on it. I just have the electronic copy of it. Okay, so. It just makes it easier for everyone to read. But we shouldn't. We should should put our book here. Yeah. Yes. So that but we that have that pencil. Yeah. 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 Because the reason why that in pencil is because that way it, it, it will fluctuate. Yeah, you'll spend it, you'll earn it, you know. Mm -hmm. So does anyone want to be the banker, air quotes, by the way? Okay, so you're going to split gold as you get it? Good to know. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Basically, if you, you wipe out a bunch of bad guys and you go through their pockets and you pull out a bunch of cash, you guys divvy it up right then and there yeah. instead of a person oh, keeping cool. track. And a lot like of times the, there's one person who keeps track of all of it and then... Th there's a party banker it. and then at the end when you get out of the dungeon you split up the stash. Yeah, for example... Tilda was the banker for her group. <laughs> and I'm sure yeah, everyone of her teammates got the right amount of gold uh -oh. coins at the no, end no, of the they event. They did. 
It's just that when sometimes it's not divisible by the number of characters, that little extra one goes to the maker. <laughs> hey, I still have to get that 232 gold back. For saving your friends. Because <laughs> friendship is the golden rule. Oh, okay. Wow. So Talia, who is your character? My character is Solaris. She is out of character, a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> As far as y'all are concerned, she's a bard. I like that. She's current, you know, air quotes, a bard. bard. (laughs) (laughs) And she, yeah, she goes from town to town. And mysteriously, sometimes a rash of things go missing. But no one's really, she leaves before people connect the dots. There we go. That's my hair. What was that? Oh, I... Uh, Zalaris. And she is uh, chaotic good. Oh. Damn, what you got up there? (laughs) Girl, I'm gonna look at you. Um. I don't know your character's name. Oh, it disappeared? Okay. You could. Just your character. However much you want to share. Okay. Um. So your teammates know what they're dealing with. Okay. My character's name is, um, Mixie? Is that supposed to be Mikey? I think I'm Mikey. You, you, last week you pronounced it as, um, Mike, Mike's Oh, Mikey? Mikey. 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 Mikey? I thought she said Mikey. Guess I thought it was Mikey. Yeah, uh, it was Mikey. Mikey? Oh, write it out phonetically. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm going to do on my little cheat sheet here. Is it Mikey? You said Mikey. Because if not, I'll keep calling it Mixie. There. Mixel Blicks. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So, uh, Mixie. And uh, she is a blue one druid. Um, and a rock gnome. Uh, and she really likes tinkering around, but she um, has a natural lot of it. That's very much exactly a druid. I have to get this out of my system. Rock! 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 I did, I had to. <laughs> um, so she likes uh, technology and she likes tinkering away with things. Um, but she's also a druid, so. She's a conundrum. Yes. Wrapped in a mystery. Yes. Wrapped in the forest. Mm-hmm. Wrapped in an enigma. <laughs> Soon um, to be wrapped in a bear skin. There's this really cute thing that I totally forgot about where apparently she will just pick things up and fidget with it. And um, sometimes they break, sometimes they don't. So. I just pick so up when your kid things. starts randomly picking picking things, you will get inspiration. <laughs> and by the way, uh, inspiration basically when you play to your character's four things. By the way, I might not remember, so if you do it, you can just like tap your inspiration part. You just go tap until I notice you do that, and I throw one of these at your face. <laughs> <laughs> and on your turn, anytime you have a dice roll you want to have advantage on, you throw this back at me, and you roll the a d20 twice and you get the better of the two. Yeah. Or if you're in a situation where it's disadvantage, you throw that at me and it's just a straight. So if I were to roll this and I had disadvantage, I would be a net critical fail. Mm-hmm. But if I had rolled these two dice but I had advantage, I'd get the 17, nice. which yes. is ideal. Advantage is really good for when you definitely want to do something cool. And these new chips are cool. Because normally I just use poker chips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can those for uh, from uh, Advanced Deployment. Yep. Very I'll put, cool. I'll put them in my goggles because they're, they're actual goggle oh, size. Oh, nice. Cool. 50 millimeter lens. Yeah, yeah, I thought it would be cute. <laughs> um, and I guess the last thing is she lives out in nature on her own, so she doesn't really have a lot of people still. Oh, which explains the charisma. Which your charisma really bad. <laughs> hey, we're listening tonight. We have the exact same charisma. Where is it? Wow. There it is. I am Negative just one. not a people yeah. person. Wow. I am not a people person. Wow. <laughs> I did not care if you don't. Wow. Pretty much, you guys need to let the bar do the dust. Yeah. <laughs> I did not care if you do not like me. Yeah. And, yeah. and Judy, who are you playing? Uh, okay. My name is Bella Luna. I am a level one lizard. Uh, my noble high elf. My limits. Chaotic good. Um, common folk love me for kindness and generosity. Oh, I know. And um, her nickname's Bella. Bella. Oh. 
Let's I'm going to call you Luna. Luna. Yeah, I'd rather be Luna. I said I'm calling you Luna. I'd rather be Luna. Right now. I'll tell you that right now. You're Luna. We'll just stick with The Luna. locals yes. have a sweet drink named the Luna. The Luna. Oh. <laughs> um, it's got honey in it, doesn't it? <laughs> It's the only way to properly see it. Yes, bead. I'm going to bring my bead bottle with it now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> not what we can see. I was like, will we happy to help you drink at last? Oh, it's fabulous. I'll tell you. Okay, so you all are pretty much traveling or part of or little bits of the, if I love this awesome inking of the picture, <laughs> of the barony of Brizen Bay. This nice, quiet barony, a century ago, it avoided the worst of when the uh, Empire of Humanity fell and horrible chaos and things. Thankfully, its local protectors did a good job of doing it. The Baron is a sweet old guy. He's a paladin of pale or really good salt of the earth kind of Baron who was known for getting in the fields and working with his people as well as defending them when bad things came. Now he's old and retired. It was like a week ago the dwarf fought to war with him. At least of the dwarf senses. So, recently, there was a strange upheaval in the earth. There was a great earthquake that happened. Got people kind of on edge, you know. People came into town that usually live in the outskirts. You know, folks are concerned it's a sign, it's an omen, oh God, something bad's going to happen, you know. People t see, just see it as different ways. So so what do you all think about the, the earthquake and the upheaval? There a little forest fire broke out. Thankfully, it, it got taken care of on its own. Or, or maybe the elves that live out in the uh, Berkswold forest took care of it. Uh -oh. oh, in order for me to answer that question, I have to call upon my uh, uh, stonework and rock knowledge. Oh, so you're only with advantage. Uh, yeah, I'm only dwarf. with advantage because I'm a dwarf, um, um, and that would be history. Is that history, but I get a plus. Because of that specific type, yeah, so yeah. I get to bang it on it. Okay. So, all right. All right. Okay. Um, that would be. I think where's the. So I get a eleven. Eleven. Okay. So uh, you think you know? Oh no, double because so that would be it doubles a, your uh, proficiency bonus. Yeah. So uh, that would be a. Uh, 13. A 13? So yeah. what exactly were you looking to see about the... Get an impression on the uh, the earthquake. All natural on the thing. You, you get a feeling is that uh, this is fairly natural-ish, which is a really bad earthquake. Yeah. You know you know that as a dwarf, you know, the human should be inspecting all of their buildings and making sure their stonework is good. You know, because things like this can change the countryside and things like that. But it was, it was a good solid, good solid 8.5 on the Dwarven Richter scale. Or should I say Dwarven Stone with your scale? <laughs> okay, there, you have my opinion. <laughs> well, actually, for me to gather my opinion, ah. I need to see what, what, what the word is around. So you're so, using uh, your... Uh, you're, you're checking to see what the rumor mill is? Yeah, I'm checking that's, out the gossip and the rumors. So that's actually really saying. important because one of the trappers, came, you know, one of the forester trappers came into town and said there's a whole section about uh, four days travel of the forest is completely changed, like a new valley in the forest. Huh. So I'm debating, should I just completely avoid that or maybe I should see what's up? But yeah, there's, so, like a, there's basically a small little uh, 200, 300 foot valley where there wasn't one before. Okay. I will mark that on a map. Okay. To okay. keep. It's for future reference. For future reference, because I could maybe trade this information with somebody else. Mm, yeah. Very cool. So that's my opinion. <laughs> my opinion is finding out other people's opinion. <laughs> Anybody else? Um, well, I mean, my person has a uh, lightness of the seasons and constant change, but this is a little too much change too quickly. Earthquakes, they have? They happen, but yeah. like with the forest fires and with the something that will happen, it seems to me. Okay, yeah, that's perfectly valid. <laughs> so, is that it? Yeah, if, if, if that's your character's opinion, that's definitely a valid point, especially from a druid. 
Okay. Judy, hanging out at the Baron's place, you know, enjoying the good life. The name's Luna. Yeah, Luna. I'm underlining the Luna part. Of course, the Baron's like, eh, earthquake, earthquake, these things happen, and you know. It's a damn shame this earthquake happened when your father, my court wizard, and most of uh, the retainers went to the big city. Which, uh, I'm a lost. He's yeah, beating him. He's, yeah, he's felt it. Basically, the Baron's saying, you know, that, that basically everybody went to the big city because, you know, the, the, the herds were ready to be taken into t to town for slaughter and stuff. So it's, it's, it's inauspicious timing because most of the uh, guards are gone and uh, things are a little on edge right now, but things, things seem to be okay. So is anybody doing anything? Or... Mm -hmm. Well, coming into town to check on your friends? I'm coming yeah. into town. Oh, you're coming into town to check on your old buddy, the Baron? Yep. Mm -hmm. I heard that, hey, this is where he, uh, this is his demands, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm going to uh, pay uh, pay my respects. Okay, you're coming on the old King's Road. You get a hero's welcome because everyone's heard the story of, you know. Uh, Why would I get a hero's welcome? He's the one who saved my life. Oh, but that's not how he says it. He really is a good guy. <laughs> because your your aid on the battlefield helped him survive the wars. The blood spear wars were horrible. And down orders. If it wasn't for his, his noble allies, the dwarves, he wouldn't have made it through. <laughs> this guy is a real nice guy. <laughs> He's totally gonna die. So <laughs> <laughs> Not if I can help it. So of course, you know, in honor of his friend coming, you know, Bronwyn coming to town, he throws a little. Mini he doesn't know I'm coming. Well, once you're there in town. Oh, okay. Once you're there, the the Baron throws a little mini festival. People are, you know, they pull out a couple of the suckling pigs and have a little barbecue and a little festival. So of course, everyone is att attracted to this festival. But all of a sudden, I'm arm wrestling and staring them down because I can stare down a hellhound without flinching. You're gonna arm wrestle your friend? No, everybody. Okay. <laughs> What's a party without arm okay. wrestling? The local farm boy who ate too much meat is wanting to arm wrestle you. All right. Go ahead and get your D20 warmed up. We're gonna do the peak letter. Athletics. <laughs> Athletics. <laughs> oh, she's making the heel laugh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Natural 20 plus five! <laughs> So all of a sudden, the, all of you, the different places that you're hanging out during this party, you just see this this female dwarf. And... <laughs> Good catch! Just slam the, the big... But I didn't break his arm, I know that... The big, tough Jethro of town. This big farm boy's hand just slams back... Three times hand. my height. <laughs> <laughs> Three times her height and width. Uh-huh. And he's just grabbing his wrist, and his friends are making fun of him. The little dwarf woman beat him. I'm just glaring at him. It's like, you think you can do better, lad? Oh, and they all shirk away. That's right. right. So, uh, especially our gossip mill over yes. there, who's playing her musical instruments yeah. for the party. Because this is a great time, which, by the way, go ahead and get two extra gold pieces, because you're playing at this party, and Yay. people are chipping coins towards you. Yay! So it's two gold pieces total. It's really like a bunch Our of coffins. dwarves and holy water! <laughs> this is cast Alcohol is dwarves This cast of, you know, 80-year-old booze is being busted open. This is crazy. As you're getting rumors of people complaining over the last couple of days, things have gone missing. Huh. Everybody's saying, you know, mostly homesteaders are on the outreach of the Baron. You're saying, like, pots and pans have gone missing. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this is stuff that's not, I'm not responsible but for. But your ears exactly. always work up. This yeah, is something that you're like, I didn't go to that house. <laughs> <laughs> I was nowhere near there. <laughs> And talking about how like clothes have gone missing off clotheslines, huh. weird, weird things that you would never bother staring because they have no resale value. Yeah, like so old bit that. pots. Hmm. <laughs> that what it is? Love yes. it. Love All right. It. So, so you're you're hearing the, the the common folks whispering about that. It's okay. it's weird. All right. Now, one thing 
that because with my whole Robin Hood complex thing, mm -hmm. right before I leave town is when I just basically give what <sighs> my my well part of my <laughs> filthy <laughs> the poor tax. Yes, the poor tax. I take the poor tax and then give it give it to the poor kind of thing. Because you need seed money. Yeah, I do. I kind I kind of do. And then you know that kind of also Travel helps money. keep people from immediately assuming it's me because all of a sudden. You know, hey, look, awesome. we found some cash. There you go. And plus, she's just budget. so pretty. And uh, Luna, you know from, of course, you know, the Baron's Court. You know, you hang out with him. He's got this nice little mini castle. It's nice to stay. That uh, a few of the rancher types outside of the uh, city area have actually complained that some of their animals have gone missing. Mm -hmm. Like a cow and two ponies and a few pigs have disappeared. Of course, the Baron, he's a, he's a really good guy. He's like, ah, I'll, I'll pay you what it's worth. I don't want you going hungry over the winter. Is that he, he's, he's almost as good. But no people have been harmed. But no harmed. people have been harmed. Nobody's really seen anything. It's not orcs, then. Okay, so well, you guys have a good time with the festival. You guys doing anything special? I'm just, you know, listen, you know, playing my music and kind of listening to the rumors, rumors and gossip because I'm an entertainer slash also kind of seen a little bit level as a servant. People think I'm invisible, so they're gonna talk. Yeah, and, that's true. Yeah, especially so since they it. think you're playing music and you're not listening. You're exactly. Playing. So of course, you know, a lot of the people are doing the whole oh signs and portents, bad things are gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, I once heard an earthquake like that happened before the White Death came down from the north and killed people 200 years That's ago. That's a little bit of gambling. Uh, <laughs> hey, I have proficiency with the bone dice. Okay. You want to play dice with some people? I'll play a little dice. Okay. So there's always some locals that don't know you. They're like, ah, I'm going to shyster you with dice. So, uh, you want to play dice? Yeah. Okay. Sleazy looking guy wants to play dice with you. He's not rolling his game for dice, he's rolling something else. Go ahead and roll, don't get you get the uh, I get efficiency. So you can use your so, sheer decks for throwing the, the bones. Too. Oh, shnikey! So uh, it ends up costing you a gold piece. You want to keep gambling? Yes. <laughs> Double or nothing, or just keep gambling? Double or nothing. Okay. Yes! Okay, yes. you come out one gold piece ahead after all, yeah. instead of one bottle below. And of course, the shyster guy doesn't like you. He says disparaging things behind you. Yep. Say it to my face. Behind your back. You didn't hear it. No, hold it. I'm going to do... You're going to roll perception? Perception. Okay. And my perception. And I'll do a stealth to see how quiet he was. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. <laughs> but I'm... Oh. <laughs> You both roll ones. <laughs> Needless to say, everyone heard his disparaging mark except you. And you unfortunately got distracted because someone came by with more ale. I made the mistake of spilling the ale and you had to say a prayer to Cord for the ale that was spilled. And of course people are seeing this dwarf who's, you know, spilling things and being boisterous and loud. <laughs> So so, what is the rock now doing? What do you, what? It's a big it's a big party. People are drinking. There's a celebration. It's actually warming some spirits up. I mean, I just showed up to go to the pawn shop. And, and the pawn shop here. That's the pawn shop guys drinking with me. <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, it's a party. Everybody has a good time. It goes on late to the night. Uh, the inn is offering free rooms in honor of the festival. Cool. They're, they're referring to it as Ample Spark Day. <laughs> and, of course, you know, people want to hear the stories of how you slayed ten orcs twice your size in one day. <laughs> they're all twice my size. Everything <laughs> <laughs> twice your size. No. Life is in war. The stronger force wins. Um... Maybe trying to find some trinkets during the party, maybe? Like steel trinkets? No. Or like buy trinkets? Uh, not buy, just look for. Find on the floor. When you mean buy trinkets, <laughs> you mean just like random shit on yes. the floor that you want to play around with? Yes. Okay, you find some random little, little, little 
things that you fidgety it's with. Bobs. And, and are you doing anything for the common folk, my dear Luna? Um, Maybe some cheap uh, cantrip parlor tricks. Yeah, well, fire bolts as fireworks. One of my thoughts is my action brings shame to the family, so I'm thinking I'd like oh. to do a She's little gambling myself. Oh yes, oh. we're gonna gamble. Yes, we gamble against <laughs> each other. Okay, yeah, that'd be fun. She's got a level gold than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Gambling and drinking while your father's alive. Oh! And <laughs> so you get one of my girls. Go double or nothing. Oh. And yes, that's playing to your inspiration. See? Oh, double or nothing. Okay, oh, I got a 14. Oh, you can do this. What's your, do you have proficiency? Uh, no, you, not no? gambling. Yes! No! So, I <laughs> that. So, I must so you will lose a gold and she will gain a gold. So you're down to 24 gold coins. Yeah, and I'm up to 12. Yeah. I know better, better to go against the dwarf. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing. And there's Cheer. my kindness, too. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to you, lovely lady. Cheers. <laughs> Look at the bonding that's happening. Okay, so everybody goes, you know, party breaks up. You guys you can all stay free at the inn. Or Animal Spark is, of course, you know, invited back to the Baron's house because, you know, you're the Baron's oldest dearest friend. <laughs> yeah, the inn is, is, is this in the one that I've been kind of having free room and board for playing for them kind yep. of thing? Yeah, what exactly. was the name of the inn? It was it uh, is the, the dragon. The dragon. Something Singing else? dragon. The singing singing dragon. dragon, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Ow. Singing dragon <laughs> inn. <laughs> and she's apparently been now. drinking too much. <laughs> yeah, caught me. <laughs> <laughs> so of course you know uh, you two, you, you know, the rock gnome and the uh, bar <laughs> are going out to the inn, and the other two are going to the Baron's place where uh, you guys, you know. Well, what what time of night is it? Well, it basically the party goes all through the day and into the night. Okay, how late? Because I could still I could still kind of hang around the tavern part. And work that rumor mill, and still play music, and maybe earn a few more gold coins. Because I'm I'm gonna stay as long as gold is, or right. at least drinks are. I, I'll gold. say about eleven o'clock because when things are starting to break, which is okay. pretty pretty okay. late for fantasy world. And okay. give me a performance roll, by the way. Okay. Where is my? And you'll be at advantage because everyone's drinking lots of alcohol. Okay, so because. All right. I, I resemble rolling. that remark. <laughs> I need help rolling. So fine, okay. My performance is a plus five, and it's okay. my charisma. So roll a twenty. You're just two plus five. five. Okay. So just roll. Uh, so he's roll just two got advantage. So yep. you get two, two, so roll two of them. and you get to take the better. You know. Okay. So eleven, 11 plus. So she got a sixteen. So sixteen. Because you said you're plus five, right? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you got a sixteen. So let's see. You made. An extra six silver pieces. Awesome. Because as the night goes on and yes. people have changed from their alcohol, That's it's going right. into your your your, your yeah. hat. Yeah. Which, by the way, what do you put out when you perform? A hat, a bowl, a cup. Uh, you know that dragon scale? Oh. The possible dragon scale. Yeah. Because it's concave. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I have a good story to tell people. That and it's pretty and it reflects. Yeah. What dragon is it? It's like, well, I was thinking it was like an air. It could be one of like a belly scale, like an iridescent, so you like, can't tell what it what it sort is. Sort of pearlescent, like a pearlescent kind of color. Okay, okay. cool. Nice. Sounds like it's from a frost because you that way you can tell the story of that how you took out the frost the frost dragon. No, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a belly rub and picked its pocket. I'm uh -huh. belly. <laughs> Scratched. You don't it. need this no. one. I sang it to sleep, <laughs> and as it. <laughs> I was asleep. I grabbed a loose one and ran. Bullshit. <laughs> Soothing the beast. Okay, so. Hey, I'm a good liar. You believe me. So, you guys pretty much have a good night, comfortable sleep. Everything's good. You wake up in the morning, some later than others. <laughs> those, of right you, early. those of you at the barony are getting treated to, you know, fresh fried eggs and bacon. Those of you at the inn are getting, you know, leftover dinner with some kind of. Porridge. Peas, porridge, hot. <laughs> Peas, and, porridge, uh, cold. <laughs> Peas, porridge, in that hot, hot nine, nine days old. Ew. <laughs> it's a nice gray color at that point. Ew. <laughs> hey, it's lines of foil. I know. Eat. I know. Add a little more bacon <laughs> to it. You know. I have so, anyway. so you guys at the end, you guys are kind of interrupted in the morning. You're having your normal morning wake up. Food being brought out. Everyone's a little hungover. 
Not everyone lied. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know better yeah. than to drink, so no, I'm not. So, so all of a sudden, one of the doors gets swung right, wide open as one of the local farmers comes in going, Have you heard? No. 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 Something horrible's happening. Someone's gone missing. Who's gone missing? The halfling grandmother Holsa, her, her, her and her grandchild have gone missing from the house. Ooh. I'm not there. Well, someone right. should tell the nope. Baron. Only yeah. those are there. Someone should tell. I will go tell the Baron. And I go. I was on my way to tell the Baron, but you can do it for me. Yes. Since you're so much more eloquent. Have fun with that. Bardic tongue of yours. And, oh, porridge. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I, go, I go tell the Baron. Okay. Slam back your, your, your nice morning cider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, you go to the Baron's place, the yes. guard's like, ah, Bard, come in, come in, come in, Bard. <laughs> Audience is there, they're at their table having break. So, my friend, Anvil Spark, what adventures have you been on since the last time we were in war? A war never really ended. I'm killing, I'm still killing orcs, but I do it in the service of Korg now. I heard about your exploits at the arm wrestling table. Korg was surely behind you for that. Ha <laughs> ha Games of skill. Any games of athletics. If yes. only I was still in my prime. <laughs> I'm sure you would have taken me. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind, my friend. <laughs> no, I have heard of you to disc, right? Getting <laughs> care. Getting care. That's what the paladin would say. Uh, that's right, all right. <laughs> Well, life in life, um, as in war, the stronger force wins. I don't feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the Baron looks over at Luna and says, "Luna, your father was in that war with us. Oh, if only, if only my human blood aged as well as, as your elven blood and my dwarven friends' blood here. Unfortunately, the frailty of humanity as we age and wither quicker than others. But you know." No, for a human, you're a good one. Oh, you should be kind. Just, just then the, the steward thraps on, on his little staff on the floor and says, My lord, the bard is here. There's some news from town. And, you know, the court- what was the name of the, the halfling grandma? What was her name? Was there one? Yeah, Alpha it was like Granny Halfling Granny, Granny Halsa or something. Halsa. Granny Halsa, Halsa and her, her granddaughter. Her, grandchild? her grandchild. Halsa. Let me write this down. Is what I should have done. It's okay, grandchild. Yes. Well, in, in this medieval period, do, do you address a baron as a sire or a my, my lord? lord? My lord? My lord. My lord. My lord. News from the village. Something terrible has happened. Come, come. Sit at the table. No need for, for formality. Well, um, it, news has come that... that bring food. Bring food. Bring food. Granny Halsa and her granddaughter have gone missing. Thank you. Genuine concern. Yeah. Also, I've heard rumors that there is not four days travel from here. My uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's good. A valley. Um, the forest has changed. Where there was no valley, there is now a valley. Four days travel from here. I don't know if they're connected, but they've happened so close to each other that something is going on. Uh, and, and he looks concerned. He glances from his friend to his friend's daughter. Well, to to the newcomer there. We're gonna have to go find them. Who's up for it? I'm not you. No. <laughs> you want? But you did hear tell that there's a druid in the in, in town. You know the rumors. You know oh, there's yes. a druid in town. There's a druid in town, so we could consult the druid because they would know about nature and the changes that are unnatural. You are the keystone here. <laughs> a, druid, a druid would be helpful because they know the lay of the land. That is what. It's like, lay of the land. And, and, and you tell them about the thefts going on? Yes. Also, there have been thefts. Sorry. <laughs> we got you off. I need to start. Uh, yeah, I, I got to start writing this stuff down. I'm going to make a rumor book and write it all down. <laughs> um, yes, there have been thefts um, along the outskirts of town. It's nothing... Do you want scratch paper? I, got I actually have a book, which was the four, I was gonna write like my background story and everything in it, and then okay. I forgot about it. I just turned out to like, sneeze. Right here. Oh, you can sneeze. You can pause okay. and sneeze. No, all the cards will go flying. <laughs> then you turn this way, you just go right over my shirt here. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's in We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Now so, that you've been taken, the items that have been stolen are things.
things like clothing, pots and pans. No one's been hurt, but there are many strange things happening. And animals. Animals and livestock have been missing as well. But many strange things are happening all at the same time. Interesting that it coincides with the uh, earthquake, don't you think? It's, it's, it's very disconcerting. Should could be some Small terrain fire. creatures making their way to that surface. Ooh. Now, from what I was being told, being a dwarf, I'm familiar with subterranean pests. <laughs> from what I was told, all of the the the, theft, the, the disappearances of livestock that occurred only happened at night. Uh, I, I wasn't told about what time, just that it was happening. <laughs> so, but it, it it's it does seem strange that all these things ha happen to be happening all at once, from the disappearance to the change in the landscape. I think so you've got a, uh, a subterranean menace support. I think I, I, I fear that you're correct in that. Uh, I'll be happy to lend a hand. Oh, you, you, you are sour to truth. I'm a hammer. Luna, I, I hate to ask this of you, but could you help my friend uh, Anvil Spark look into this? And, and Just call me Bronwyn. I told you that before. Bronwyn. And, and dear Bard, I'm sorry, your, your name escapes my lips. I know you- Zolaris. Zolaris. Could, could you seem to be in touch of what the people know is going on? Could you assist my, my, my friends here? Yes. In finding, there, will, there will definitely yes, be a reward for each of you. And uh, uh, you could extend this reward offer to the, the druid the as druid. well for assisting <laughs> this. Yes, um, I, I, she's staying at the same inn I am, so I will, I will henceforth go. And speak to her. <laughs> <laughs> Eloquently put. Yes, I'm <laughs> trying to be all eloquent and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you make pretty words. <laughs> you talk pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so I go off, and okay. He he basically gives all of you your leave. To, he wants you to finish eating first, okay. and then you know. Okay. You, you, hey, better food than was it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really, I'm totally gonna eat it's that. It's really good sucking. It's not cake. wise to go like you know to, into battle not, on an empty stomach. It's not green, so I'm totally yeah. gonna eat it. <laughs> or some shade of gray. gray. Some gray, gray, greeny, gruey <laughs> stuff. Okay, so you guys are treated. He he's going back. The Baron's gonna go uh, write some things down in his journal and consult because you know he's all about people. Telling his, his little uh, note taker to take all the notes, take everyone's names down. Oh. Well, no, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> Something I'll tell the DM later. Okay. <laughs> you can always write in the note if you want. That's true. Like if you ever want yep. if you guys want to like do do some in game and stuff without having to go outside or something, you can always write a note. You can always to use DM. one of those and pass it back to me. Yeah. So if anybody yes. By all means, I'm all for to, I'm for for. For private messages, it is, to us it is not messages. considered rude. It is not. No, nope. and, and I'll I'll sometimes just pass you a random note that says just read this and smile. Yeah. <laughs> or frown. Yes. Okay, so you guys are heading off to go recruit the druid. Yes. Okay. So you guys head down. It's not too far of a walk. It's a nice little town. You go to where the druids, you know, eating food, tinkering with some stuff. Because obviously somebody must have fidgeted with some wire because there's broken bits of wire. You there, Madam Gnome. He does. It's like, would you be interested in a wee bit of an adventure? She told me that. Yes. Hi, and I'm She's like, well, I relate to her what's going on. And uh, we would like your help in finding grandmother um, Halsa and her grandchild in the forest. Because something is happening in the forest. A valley is there that was no that, that was not there before. Yeah. We do not ken what's going on, but we're gonna find out. Would you be willing to aid us? Alright. Okay. And you will get a reward. <laughs> so it's been obviously she would know where grandmother Halsa lives in the forest. Right? She's not a local. She I would. In the forest. Oh, okay. You would, yeah. yes. I'm in the forest. But if Halsa <laughs> lives in the forest, the <laughs> druid would know, right? She's not local, though. She doesn't She okay. hasn't explored around town. Not, not oh, really. Okay. Well, I know! Yeah, no. <laughs> and, and as you guys are, you, you got all your gear on, so you, you packed all your gear on? Yeah. 
yep. check out your adventure yep. and stuff. Yep. 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 You come by one of the local cobblers. He's pulling his little hand cart. He's, he's you know, you notice his hand cart's got like half the stuff it normally does. Usually it's like the pots and pans and hats and barber bowls and all the crazy things. And he's just he's got just the sourest look on his face. What's happened? My wares. Someone stole half of my wares. When did this happen? At night? Day? Sometime last night while I was out drinking at the festival, someone found where I put my wagon and stole things. Huh. So this seems oh, to be growing to the end of things at night. Hmm. Pots and pans. Well, there was clothing as well that was stolen before. Or well, there's cobbler shoes. Hmm. Well, uh, we are off to see if we can find out what is going on, good sir. So if we find your, your wares, we will try to return them. Uh, thank you, thank you. Some pilfered blackbirds. And of course, you know, he goes pedaling off as you guys are going on your way. Um, you guys are heading off towards the uh, area there. Go ahead and once you hit the woods, someone give me a survival roll as you're right. heading off. Ooh, ooh, well, not me. <laughs> that would probably be probably. me. Probably should have been her, but you yeah. already rolled your dice. What would you get for a survival? Eleven. Okay, so so uh, you guys are heading out to the the, the, the grandma's neck of, wood, of the woods. Everything's going fine. <laughs> Nothing horrible's happening. You know, you're not you're not walking to a wasp nest or anything like that. You know, that doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> and, and, and what kind of walking order are you guys in? Uh, well, let's see here. She's leading, I guess. The road is big enough. All four of you can walk the line. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna be in front. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be kind of like stand behind the giant shield person. Okay, that's a good call. <laughs> you and I'll be in front because we're tanky, 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 tanky. Right. tanky. Yeah, we're, we're kind of like tanks. Oh. And uh, Luna, are you like behind them, next to them? Next to. Next to. Okay, so it's only the bar. Yeah, she's behind gonna be. If guys. she's next to it, she's gonna be between us. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be between you guys. Yes, she's so we're flanking. or are like okay. on either side of her. It's more protection that way. She knows you're a VIP. I also know she's a squishy cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what she means by that. <laughs> Gee, her armor class versus my armor yes. class. It's like I can take a hit better than she can. <laughs> Okay. And now it can turn into a bear or <laughs> later on. In this case, well, yes. she can't turn it yet. She's yeah. only first level. Oh. Yet. But you have, like, camp and tinkle. So you guys sort of go out to the woodsy area. <laughs> so right know. now I'm the tank. Yeah, <laughs> that's why so I said I'm standing behind the tank. It's a, it's a nice little cottage. It's got a well outside, a little fence, gardens, you know, and stuff like that. Okay. Anything you guys want to do while walking up to the property? Um. Shiny. I am just kind of keeping an eye. I'm just gonna... So you want to do a perception? Yes, yes, I would like to do a perception. Yes, perception. Because yeah. I'm already kind of wigged out. Like, okay, someone's stealing shit. And it's These... not me. We're in the forest. Of the forest. We're in the These forest. These don't count for my two first level spells, right? No. Could, you... could you give me two more gemstones, please? No, no, no. If you use them, yes, it does. So you only can cast okay. two first level spells. Oh, okay. So if you were to cast those, they wouldn't count. It's just those don't count as the spells that you memorize every day. Oh, okay. Those are always memorized. So perception? Yeah. Yep, go ahead and roll perception. All of us? Uh-huh. Okay. Anybody who wants to proceed. I do. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a natural one! A oh, critical no. fail! So, wait, wait, wait. 20! Woo! Wow. Woohoo! Okay, we'll go with hers. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... Perception, because I don't have anything, so I just roll. Uh, your passive perception is that, but okay. if you're specifically trying to perceive, it's... I got zero. Yeah, but what did you roll? So I didn't roll a, anything yet, that's what I'm asking. It'll be a straight dice roll plus zero. So you got a two. Hey, so. you did critical fail like I did. <laughs> you just don't see and notice anything either. Okay, you guys are coming to the cottage, it looks really nice. Immediately, the druid does this whole... <laughs> how does the druid track? How are you? How are you perceiving? Do you like feel wind in your your wet finger, or how would you do it? Uh, or do you just make it? You know, you just take a moment. You see a leaf blow across the wind. You know these things. Does, I do have a question though. Do uh -huh. I have a focus sleep? Uh huh. Can that move around or no? Do well, I it's pretty much you have it on your person. 
So you always want, you don't want to lose that. Because then you no. can't use but does it do things on its own? No, no, it's just a holy symbol. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, basically a little leaf. Just little leaf flies by. And she something kinda, doesn't look great. Not great. You kind of smell the wind and immediately, with your natural 20, a musk hits your nose. You know this musk. It reminds you of dragon steak. <gasps> oh, no. it's not dragon steak, but the small, <laughs> small dragons. And you see footprints and scratch marks. And you, you sense Anger. something. And then you, you see that there's, there's obviously some, you know, some trail going to the property that something's been scouted around the house and the door is slightly ajar. That's not obvious at all. And, and you Ooh. notice that whatever's been leaving the footprints is small sized. Ooh, like me? Yes, like oh. you. Oh. Only that they leave scratches behind. Talon. Yeah. So are we still so walking? Did you roll again while you're walking to the house? Yeah. Stop. Okay, oh. you stop. Yeah. Stick your hands up, stop everybody. Yeah. So do you tell us what you see? Yes. Yeah. Damn kobolds. Well, she doesn't know for sure it's kobolds. Well, she Natural still 20. She, okay, she's sure. She <laughs> knows it's a kobold. <laughs> you know. She knows the gender of the kobolds. <laughs> now the question is, out of character, do you know what a kobold is? No. You rolled uh, a natural. Besides, you know, color. You rolled a natural twenty. I can share some stuff with you. You're a druid. You kind of naturally. Yay. As I will pull out Volo's Guide to Monsters and show you the picture of the kobolds. They're not all that color. They, they come in as many different colors as dragons. I remember back in the day where kobolds were rat creatures as opposed to dragon creatures. So They've changed like, over the years. I was going to say, I think they were big. Baby dragon. You know, like, you know, like, scaly kangaroos. They're, they're like rat-like lizard men. <laughs> and they steal so shit and they're thinking. vicious when they have a dragon. And they're like, they like, the think class. of themselves as dragon kin. <laughs> I can totally believe that. They're place. lizard kin. Lizard <laughs> kin. <laughs> They're what, you know, because you have your dragonborn, which are big dragon. These things are the rogue version. They're the halflings of the dragon guy. Jeez, this is fuck all. And you can tell that the uh, tracks are fresh. Probably happened sometime in the night. And they look like that there's tracks going back. There's tracks going back uh, quite a few days. So they've been scouting out this area. Hmm. Feel flint. Pilfering little reavers. This is a cool picture. Reaver is a Scottish model. Yeah, they're yeah. adorable. I yeah. love them. They're, they're adorable. adorable. They look like fun. And then there's a little note in the corner. There. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, kobolds are a lot less cute when they learn how to cast fireball. Bullets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. So you sense that these little varmints have been around here. Now they're usually fairly cowardly. But in numbers, or when they get brave, there's usually danger. Danger, danger. Let me at them. Well, we should probably make sure, like, you know, what is it called? Um, you make sure that Granny's not there. <laughs> like, just scout out a little bit to see how many there are, right? Who has good stealth? Because <laughs> it's not high. <laughs> uh, Hold on. Uh, plus one for me. Yeah, plus so. five. Aha! You want to go peek in the window? I'm gonna go. <laughs> Who knew the bard is really <laughs> sneaky? <laughs> I'll go check. So, uh, okay, so I just I roll. Hmm? So go ahead and uh, bring your mini over the map. Here's the house. Okay. Ta-da! Here's the front door that is ajar, and there's a back door. Ah, uh, windows. Where? So I want to. I want to check. Windows. I'm not going near doors. Okay. I want to look okay. at windows. So, but like peek in so okay. to make sure that I am okay, not seen. Stealth roll. Okay. Sneaking. So I roll. Well, just, uh huh. Yep. Okay. And then add your stealth. Oh yeah. Ooh, 15 that, plus. She got an 20. unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. An but unnatural 20. You, yeah. you immediately swore. And it's like a breeze and you, you're at the window and you're looking in. And you see this nice little country cottage. It looks quite nice and organized. It looks like there was food on the table but the 
plates have been knocked over, so there's food scattered around the floor. Okay. It looks like there is signs of, of foul play. Okay. And, and you notice quite a few of the cabinets have been thrown open with some of the things scattered about. It. Okay. All right, and that's this area. Okay. And give me a perception. <laughs> yeah, perception. It's okay. Uh, I love that, that you're amazing at so many things, but perception is yeah. not one. Oh, damn. Yeah. 14. Fine. Still, she did well. 14. You actually see that one of the uh, cabinet door, basically it's a pantry type door, so it's like we'll say through, is open slowly. Oh. Like someone just recently well, moved it. So, at, okay, so, because I'm still hiding. Yeah, and you, you have an unnatural 20. I'm totally, yeah. I, 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 I kind of see if something is coming out. Yeah. You are and I kind of put a hand up to the others because I'm just stealthy to them and they're, they see where I am. It's like, wait. <laughs> okay. And what do I see? Uh, you just see a, a, a little brown tail kind of poke out. It looks very little, like, like an iguana tail. And then move back inside and move some things around. Okay. Go back to them. Okay. There's kobold in there. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. It's still there. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yeah, I don't know lovely. how many, but there's still... All right. It looks like there's still... You're a caster. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. I'm just here. You're a caster. Not really, no. I am. I think you're an entertainer, which means I think you're a bard, which I think you're a caster. <laughs> so you can cast, right? Yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, they all have range. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yes. Guess what? You're each taking a window. I'm going through the front door. <laughs> So when you're each in position with a line of sight, I pull out my short bow then, I guess. Yeah, so one of you can take these two windows, like these two windows, because that way if I'm going in this way, I don't have a Because where's, where's, pa- where's the pantry that I saw? This is the pantry. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to come in the front door, and if you guys can stand it, because anything that you fire will be able to hit. And I'm going in the front door. All right, I'm going back to the and first since, window where I saw the damn thing. Okay. We're gonna have the so I need to surprise. do another sneak. No, no. If you're natural twenty, I'm good with you. You sneak back to the position. Okay. So, so now, how sneaky are the rest of you guys being on your circling okay, around the building? I'm probably not even at the window, like barely. You know what? I'm gonna use my inspiration. It's a halfling house. It is. Ooh. Yeah, the windows are halfling height. Okay. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay, so you're gonna roll with advantage. Yep. For my. Uh, Oh, your initiative. How am I stealthing? Because remember, you're, in your armor, you're disadvantaged, so it's going to be straight roll. Because you're wearing, you're wearing your tanky, tanky armor. Well, she's like bursting through the front door. She's not trying to be stealthy. I got a 14. That's still pretty stealthy. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Judy, roll your... Uh, Stealth. stealth. If you like the stealth. So it's the 20 sided and then whatever your stealth plus is, you have three right. plus three. Okay. A natural 20, Yay. she is the knight. Oh my god. She's she swear she used okay, some kind of elven roll. magic to be. Oh like no, you stealth. already stealth. No, no, she's stealth. I'm, I'm already stealth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you need to roll stealth. Okay. Eight. 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 One, so nine. So nine. nine. You come up to the window, and you all kind of hear a "reo, reo, reo." She's she's cleaning the dirty oh, window Jesus. to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> but now, hopefully, hopefully, we should have the surprise, which means we will go first, and then we'll roll initiative. Well, fortunately, someone's passive perception is higher than that. All right. Well, then I'm just friggin' As attacking. A reptilian head pokes its way up through the door and looks at the window. That one. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna burst in. Everybody. Well, it's so he's looking this way. So there's a yeah. window Bail. right there. Yeah, I'm gonna... He's looking straight out of the window. <laughs> I'm gonna see the rest so, of us. So everybody, it. go ahead and roll initiative. So roll your twenty sided, and then whatever, add whatever your initiative bonus is. Nineteen plus Nineteen. three. Damn. Oh, that's not working. Let's see. So twenty. Oh, two. Initiative. I got a seven. Where is that? Nineteen. I'm still last. It's the now, center of your page. Seven. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Which, oh. Oh, oh what do you right. get? Okay. What do you get? You want to keep Natural this guy 20. alive. Okay, because I got a 23. <laughs> <laughs> you got a natural 20. Damn it. Oh, no, no, no. She, 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 she can go first. 
Can I? No, a natural no, 20 I mean, got 22. I got 22 because 19 plus 3. Jim, a natural So it ties, so he'll go first. Don't be beat. No, no, no. His plus It's a natural 20. No, you go first. You're not looking at me. I'm hiding. Yeah, that's true. He's looking at the weird one. That doesn't understand. I unfortunately go last. Oh, really? Well, no. Which one of you is the higher deck? I'm betting it's the druid. I had seven. Your, hold it, your dex Wait, is for what? what? Dex. You what both hit a seven. You both rolled a seven. So look at your... I have a plus two. What is your plus? Over here, look at what that plus number says. So dex. hold on. What? Just what is your dex? Plus one. Okay, I go first. Okay. I have better dex than you. What did you roll? I rolled a seven. Oh, no, I rolled a six. So, yeah, you okay, went first so anyway. Okay, so I go first anyways. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I thought you both had seven. But no, you have, you rolled a six, plus, but you have a plus one. Yeah, plus so that means you have a seven. seven. So okay, our seven. sevens oh, are tied, okay. but my dex is higher than yours. Okay. So that means I <laughs> sorry, go your, first. Your dex bonus okay. is the tiebreaker. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, in this situation, the cobalt got initiative. So immediately, the <laughs> try and keep gonna try keep this Gonna though. skirt into the room, and he's gonna rummage around and grab his stuff. Getting all over. Right. All right. Which is good because he likes. Oh, them. you you need to describe to him what hold action is. Well, he's not holding action. He's but he's... they might want to. Okay, in your turn, you can do what's called a hold action. As Kelly's being so bossy about. <laughs> <laughs> is say your initiatives come up and nothing's happened. And there's nobody you can attack. You could hold action to say when this happens, I do this. So in this case, you could say like. You can't see him. I'm holding my action with my crossbow to shoot him as soon as he comes around the door. So oh, that, cool. but then if he moves you in the initial order, it's initiative complicated. Order. All kinds of. But it things. is an option. But it is an option that can be okay. tactically used well. Well, I kind of have to do that because I'm basically knocking my, you know, knocking you my arrow. You can break the window if you want. Remember, there's a window. Does it have? Is it, well, is the window locked, or can I just go? No, nobody's, nobody's tried it. Okay. So well, I'm going to try and open it because I don't want to break it because that will ruin my stuff. The stealth. window slides up. And stuff. that's just super nice because then Grandma <laughs> doesn't have to place the window. Exactly. So off. I open it enough that my that I can shoot, but not enough for him to notice it. Thankfully, there's Excellent. this little stick contraption that will hold the window open for you when yes. you open it up. So it's like that now. Not just a murdering hobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she... she Right. And it clicks into place. Excellent thinking outside the box there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's 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 what Zell's doing this turn. So uh Luna, what are you gonna do? Can I cast a spell from the outside though? What do you what because kind of spell? It's, but without it being visible or anything, can that bat still it depends on what type of spell you're trying to and in case this is a wall, so you can't see him directly. So uh, what directly. spell okay. what spell are you going for? You have lots of useless spells. Yeah. Well, like for magic missile, you may want to open your the window as well. Open the window, yeah. Okay, well I'm kind of fond in opening that window okay. myself. <laughs> okay, you, so you're opening the window and click it in place. Poor cobalt. He's just heading for the daylight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ron went. Ron. Busting the door open. One, two, uh, five? Yeah. This is a big house. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. For a halfling. Do you know how many sons she has? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And then I'm going to use my thaumaturgy. Okay. And I'm going to boom my voice. Where's the grandmother? Come out and face me. Vile wormling. Ooh. 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 She is mean. Okay, uh Thaumaturgy, I just it literally it, it, it the, the walls, the walls shake are shaking from the, the sound of her voice. Yeah. I can do all sorts of things with Thaumaturgy. Awesome. Thaumaturgy is really cool. It's 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 all it's like uh for the wizards. Yeah. It's like a multi tool spell. So, Mikey. What are you going to do? I don't have a lot of useful things for besides you know, this guy. Open the window. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I open the window? Because otherwise you'll break it if you try and go. 
Yeah. And that might impede you, whatever the hell you're doing. I don't know. But you roll a natural it. one and you hurt yourself on the broken glass. What, what range spells or something do you have? Um, this is the one that actually do something pretty cool. Thorn with is really cool. Okay, yeah, you need the have window this open for that. Yeah, you need one. I don't think that yeah, works. You're going to have to have, well, either, you, either you're going to have to come into the hot room, Which or you you're going to have to open the window. One of the two. In order to, even if you wanted to cast a spell. Cool. I guess I have to open the window. Don't I? Yeah. Okay. First move. Okay, so, just open the window. Air in. Clear it out. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're back to the, to the top Stay of the order. Here. Yeah, and all of a sudden, you hear a, a, a vile hiss. And that's a great place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Here in the force of Alandril, we elves defend the woods from beasts and men. I myself have helped drive off goblin raiders, slain a giant spider, and composed an elven symphony for the Blood Moon Harvest Festival. And that was before lunch. So when I'm not sliding down the trunk of a barbarian elephant beast after killing it and its occupants with only my dagger and a few arrows, I look forward to coming home to a dungeon crate. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service crafted specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handmade items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. As an elf, I appreciate quality craftsmanship, and Dungeon Crate delivers, even if it's put together by humans. Sir, sentries have discovered several dwarves and a wizard trespassing in our woods. I was wondering what that smell was. DungeonCrate.com. Are you ready? Let the adventure begin. My mom and I kept the autism a secret. Otherwise, they would treat me more different and they would like ignore me or something like that. Like I don't even exist in the world. Autism now affects 1 in 68 children, and the figures are on the increase. People with autism are our friends, family, neighbours and part of our community. Autism awareness and acceptance is becoming increasingly relevant to society. My name is Yvonne Wong. I'm a social cultural anthropologist and broadcast standard film ethnographer. I would like to raise funds so I can conduct a full ethnographic study and documentary about how autistic individuals transition into adulthood. I would like to raise autism awareness and inspire people and employers to accept and celebrate human diversity. This includes observing individuals in their home and work environments. The proposed period of research is three months following the lives of multiple families affected by autism. Visit Film Ethnography for more information.